Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am recreating this look. I actually wore it in my 100 questions tag. I wore it in my 100 questions tag and I asked if you guys wanted to see it and you said yes. So here, here I am. I also did my hair the other day and it's actually slightly lighter. I don't know if you can tell from on the camera but let me know what you'll think. So anyways, I created this Thanksgiving inspired look. It is even though we don't celebrate Thanksgiving in Australia, I was really thinking of Thanksgiving when I was doing this makeup. I, when I think Thanksgiving, I think of those um, fall oranges oranges and reds and like those maple leaves. That's what I always think of for some reason when I think of Thanksgiving and turkey and stuff like that. So even though we don't celebrate it over here, I thought that I would create a look that was definitely inspired and something that you could wear to your Thanksgiving lunch or dinner. So it's definitely a lot of warm tones, gold, and a nude lip because if you're chowing down on that food for Thanksgiving, you're going to be wanting to be all about that nude lip. Let's be honest, I hate wearing dark colours and then being like, and then ruining your lipstick. Let me know in the comments below if you like this kind of look. Of course, it's very suitable for hooded eyes. I tried to elongate my eyes today, sort of really bringing that triangle out and using those warm tones to accentuate and make my eyes look a little bigger obviously with this spot of gold to really accentuate my eyelid so I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial give it a big thumbs up if you do like this kind of look and would like to see even some more Thanksgiving look of course please let me know in the comments below if you would like to see anything else subscribe to my channel if you haven't already guys please click that button you guys know how much I appreciate it and it really does keep me going when I see you liking videos and subscribing to my channel of course so without further ado let's just jump straight to it Firstly, I started by applying my L'Oreal Infallible Matte Foundation onto my already primed face as you can see with this Morphe buffing brush. Then to set my eyes, I'm using MAC Medium Dark as usual just to get that great base. Now onto my eyes, I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and my all-time favourite crease shade, the Caramel Brown shade, you guys know. Using the Sigma Tapered Blending Brush and applying it into my crease and then blending upwards and towards the brow bone as I really want to achieve an all-over warm eye look. Then using this Morphe shadow called Mysterious, it is the perfect warm red shadow with shimmer and I'm going to use it with this Morphe G13 fluffy crease brush and apply it to the crease from the outer corner and all the way to the inner corner, building it up. It doesn't matter if it's super tidy as I'll be blending it out. I will also be trying to create some kind of triangle in the outer corner of my eye as you can see. Then I'm going to be using this matte shade and it's called Deep Cocoa and the same brush as before and applying it just directly into the crease from the outer corner to the inner corner and not really blending it upwards very much. Then I'm using this Sigma brush again to blend it in a little bit more. For the eyelid color, I'm using this bright yellow gold color called Starlight that is super shimmery and applying it with my index finger right into the center of my eyelid where there is no sh shadow to kind of create like a halo effect. Then I'm using the Morphe brush to blend out those harsh lines and then I'm going to apply a bit more of the deep cocoa colour to the outer corner of my eye just to deepen it up a little bit more. Then I'm applying this Clinique Volumizing Mascara before I apply my Ardell Demi Wispy Lashes which I was really struggling with today. Then to highlight my brow bone I'm using the Bar Mary Lou and this small precise application brush. Now onto face, I'm using MAC Prep and Prime in Light Boost to highlight under my eyes. As you can see, I'm creating a sharper line where the eyeshadow is just because I really want to get that sharp look. Then I'm also putting it on my forehead and blending it out with the same Morphe brush that I used before. And then I'm also going to be using the Morphe Chubby Buffer, which is perfect for your under eye concealer area and really blending that area out. Once I have blended that all in, I'm going to use the concealer and it's going to be Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in Fair Light. And then I'm going to buff that out all over again. Then to set under my eyes, I am first using MAC Light Plus and then I'm going to really, really accentuate the eye area and going to highlight using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and the Banana Shade. I'm just using my Sigma Soft Blend Concealer Brush for this part. For my lower lash line, I'm going to go back in with Mysterious, the same shade as before, and the Sigma Short Shader, lining along my entire lower lash line. And then I'm just applying the same Deep Cocoa shade just for the outer corner of the eye. 
For the inner corner, I'm also going to be go ahead and use the Balm Mary Lou just because I find it really brightens it up and makes it look nice and fresh. Then I'm applying my foundation to my forehead because I hate looking wrinkly in the forehead and I find that if I apply it before I've done my shadow, it goes really gross. Then I'm setting my face using MAC Medium Dark. And then once I'm happy with that, I'm going to go and bronze it up as usual using MAC Give Me Sun, one of my all time favorites, just in the usual spots on the forehead, cheeks and cheekbones. For some added bronze and also some cheek shimmer, I'm actually going to use the Gerard Cosmetics Star Powder in Lucy, just patting that onto my cheeks, sort of more around my cheekbone and lower cheekbone area, just to create definition. And then I'm going to be using Marilyn Star Powder, just for the high points of my face on my cheekbones, as you can see, to get that glow going, my nose, cupid's bow and chin. Then I'm going to go ahead and apply the Rimmel in the Nude Liner to brighten up my lower lash line just to really open up my eyes. Then I'm setting my face using MAC Fix Plus. Finally, for my lips, I'm using the NYX Natural Liner and then, as usual, you know, just sort of basically lining the lips and then using my new favorite MAC lipstick, a part of their newer collection I got not, not that long ago. It's called the Mineralize Rich Lipstick called Pure Pout. It is like the best nude color I have ever tried really creamy and suits my skin tone perfectly and you guys know I don't normally like nudes. And here you have it, this is the finished look, duh. It seriously makes me so mad every time I say that, it just, I don't even know why. I hope you guys liked this look, I was really struggling hardcore with my lashes today and they were just not working for me at all, the glue was like burning my eyes and it took me literally so long to put my eyelashes on today. So that struggle was very real. But of course, I hope you like this video and that you want to recreate this look. Let me know if you do recreate it. And of course, if you're not already, please follow me on Instagram and tag me in your looks. I had a few people tag me in their Halloween looks and it made me feel so, so happy knowing that people wanted to recreate the looks that I was creating and it, I felt super special. So yes, definitely do that. And follow me on Snapchat if you would like to see more of a day-to-day -day update on what I'm doing with my life. <laughs> so make sure you leave comments down below of what you would like to see next, as usual, because I love your opinions. And yeah, thank you so, so much for watching, guys, and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye!